we will begin today's list with the Hector. Meet Hector, a uh, distant relative of Meat Buster, the crash test dummy. Hector helps train shooting club members, police officers, and military personnel. This dummy is made of unique materials that prevent rebounds, making it suitable for indoor use. Hector is also suitable for outdoor training with top speeds of up to 32 km per hour. You can train with 7.62 mm rounds, among others. Shots are recognized in real time with 360 degree coverage and displayed on the app, which is available on smartphones. Training situations can be customized and altered by organizers, allowing you to determine the number of bullets required to defeat Hector. And number two, we have the Viper 300. Consider a drone capsule that weighs only 2.8 kg and can hit a target with a 5 km radius. This is what the Viper 300 developers have accomplished, setting a new standard for UAV combat. In addition to its impressive range, the drone has complex AI algorithms that enable it to analyze many scenarios in real time and select the most effective targeting technique. It has a speed of 27 meters per second, which is extremely amazing. The researchers also created blocks with several capsules that may be put on armored vehicles. This design allows the drones to be released individually or in swarms, increasing operational versatility. At number 3 we have the Textron system XM204. Landmines are growing more advanced and the XM24 is a great example. The US military considered this development so intriguing that they eventually signed a purchase agreement. Surprisingly, only one container containing four mines can protect an area similar to an American football pitch. The XM204 identifies vehicles from a kilometer away using data from three sensors. An inbuilt computer determines if the targets uh, detected may be attacked. If so, the XM204 waits until the vehicles are within 50 meters before deploying the mines. The loaded container weighs only 38 kg, thus it can be moved by two soldiers. Unlike most other mines, they do not need to be barred. At number 4, we have the Elbit Systems Spectra XR. Enhanced surveillance and reconnaissance equipment is required to successfully address new threats. Take the Spectra XR as an example. This multispectral electro optical system is extremely versatile, making it ideal for aerial, maritime, and ground systems. It functions remarkably well despite obstacles such as fog, excessive humidity, smoke, and other interferences. Using artificial intelligence technology, the system recognizes and accurately identifies both moving and stationary objects. It can even track five targets at once. Operators benefit from advanced features such as picture fusion and AI analytics package. An unnamed Asia-Pacific country bought $80 million worth of this equipment in 2021. At number 5, we have the Raymental MWS-120. The makers of the 120mm motor armament system claim it's a reliable friend in every situation. Having a manual muzzle loaded motor enhances confidence, especially with its dual recoil damping system and automatic roll and pitch compensation, allowing a plus 20 degree range. The bullseye graphical interface makes control easier and feels more like a video game. You can use one button to aim at your target and another to perform automatic aim adjustment between rounds. Speaking of shots, the device is capable of firing up to 20 rounds each minute. Notable characteristics include the barrel's rapid disassembly, which takes about 60 seconds and allows for simpler conversion between smooth bow and rifle variants. At number 6, we have the Nivesta S. Nivesta S is a thermal imaging clip on site that improves target observation, recognition, and engagement even at long range. One of its primary advantages is its cutting edge technology, which enables it to activate in only 3 seconds and functions in autonomous mode, removing the need for human modifications when observation conditions change. Furthermore, the image can be displayed on an external device and a remote control can be attached if necessary. Nivesta S attaches simply on 
Pick a tiny rail and works well in temperatures ranging from negative 30 degrees to 50 degrees Celsius. And number seven of the Jamal. The worldwide military drone market is expected to reach $8.9 billion in just two years, with a strategic number of units involved. This makes systems designed to counter aerial attacks more important than ever. For example, the JAMA system was designed for the Turkish army. This semi-autonomous system which is mounted on the CRY APC and armed with 5 kW laser units only fires when an operator commands it to. The JAMA can attack and neutralize drones with a 2 km range as well as identify and disarm other airborne threats up to 5 km away. And number 8 we have the cube. You might recall film cube but this is a very different scenario. The cube is a Danish naval mine laying mechanism that is highly versatile and may be used on both civilian and military vessels. This system consistently functions effectively, in fact it enables coastal mine protection without the use of specialized ships because it can be installed on both interior and open decks with front access. Furthermore, the cube is compatible with all recognized mining brands and has three operating modes manual, semi automatic, and completely automatic. At number nine, we have the Rokas. Rokas, which debuted at the Spanish Defense Exhibition, Vini, last year has been praised as a significant advancement in the complex method of road demining. Its most notable feature is a versatile arm equipped with a range of tools that extends up to four meters. This arm can cut wires and screw fasteners and move and lift objects depending on the mission's needs. Rockers may be installed with a variety of modules including ground penetrating radar and configuration changes usually take no more than two hours. The robot is also quite fast, reaching speeds of up to 20 km per hour and a full tank of diesel fuel allows for up to 10 hours of work. And number 10 we have the name Ajban uh, LRSOV. The Ajban LRSOV is an open 4x4 vehicle ideal for surveillance missions. Its lightweight design allows it to be transported under the wings of a helicopter and its 26 horsepower engine and 6 speed automatic gearbox enables it to achieve speeds of up to 100 km per hour. It boldly climbs slopes of 60% and can safely cross water obstacles up to a meter deep. The crew consists of four people and despite its small size, the vehicle has a range of 700 km. Its modular architecture enables the installation of weaponry and equipment customized to various needs. At number 11 we have the RF Hunter. The RF Hunter system has been unfairly left out of numerous publications on military technology. But its crypto designers displayed it at one of the biggest defense shows, Euro Saturn. The RF Hunter system's concept is straightforward, yet clever. It can identify drones and their operators. With a weight of about 7 kg, it can be easily carried in a backpack or mounted on a car, making it simple for one person to use. With geolocation data shown as an interactive map on a tablet, the RF Hunter can identify up to 248 radio transmitters in real time. The RF Hunter can also be used for electronic warfare duties with a few changes. At number 12, we have the Zodiac Mil Pro FC470. Leading the way in the development of inflatable RIBs for lifeguards, medical workers, and military personnel is Zodiac Mil Pro. The regular F470 model can travel up to 41 km per hour and accommodate up to 10 passengers. The FC470's packaging is one of its best qualities. It is made to drop air into water at low altitudes without the need for a parachute. The boat is extremely useful for night operations because it can also be hidden in a unique underwater hiding place. The FC series is regarded by several sources as the best option for marine special forces which is not surprising. And number 13 of the Manta Ray. The Manta Ray is one of the initial versions of a new class of autonomous underwater vehicle that developers at North Pro uh, Grandman are currently creating. Limited information is currently available as it is still at the prototype stage of development. 
On the other hand, the Manta Ray is expected to be built for long and complex missions such as autonomous mine deployment. In order to save energy, the drone will go into slumber mode and sink to the ocean below in between missions. Its transportability is improved by its modular design which fits into five common shipping containers. At number 14 we have the Raymetal HX3 Common Tactical Truck. When Raymetal HX trucks first appeared in 203, they were so well received that the British military placed their first order. Given that these vehicles can cross ditches up to 1.5 meters deep and navigate a 40% uh, slide slope, it's easy to understand why. The HX3, an even more sophisticated model with genuinely remarkable advancement, is now on the market. For example, engineers have improved visibility while also strengthening car protection. Off-road maneuverability is improved by an optional new active suspension system on the rear axles. Remote control is also an option and one soldier can unload the truck without getting out of the car. The fact that all models from 4x4 to 10x10 use the same spare parts makes maintenance easier which mechanics value. And number 15 we have the Avon Protection Exoskin S1. One of the best examples of the ongoing evolution of military protection suits is the Avon Protection Exoskin S1. Despite its straightforward appearance, it provides round the clock defense against biological and chemical dangers such as liquids, solids and vapors. The suit offers radiation protection and integrates well with other protective equipment. It is also 30% lighter than comparable models which improves the wearer's comfort and mobility. And number 16 we have the Helicon uh, Tex Gilly suit. While the second suit may not seem as impressive, it remains valuable as it helps the wearer blend into their surroundings. There are options available for forests, snowy areas and deserts with weapon camouflage included. Draw strings allow for adjustments to fit the wearer's body and equipment, enhancing both comfort and effectiveness in the field. And number 17 we have the Lubawa Lightweight RPG Net Screen. With its ability to defend vehicles from high explosive anti-tank grenades, this shield from Lubawa SA is a great addition to our collection. Its concept is really straightforward. Threads are stretched to create a net and fastened to an aluminium or composite frame. The inventors have surprisingly submitted a trademark application pointing out that their product weighs only 4.75 kg per square meter, making it remarkably light. The shield's utility in the field is increased by its modular design, which makes it simple to replace and repair damaged pieces. At number 18, we have the New Road RF. Drones that are easy to use and reasonably priced are very helpful for a variety of purposes, from conducting rescue operations to monitoring crops and water. But they can also be abused for illicit purposes. For example, an identified drone forced Heathrow Airport to halt operations in 2019. The narrowed RF is offered by MC2 Technologies as a countermeasure to this growing danger. The impact can be seen in 5 seconds and it only takes 30 seconds to get ready to fire. A powerful dose of radio jamming signals is sent to the drone, blocking the operator's commands. It either lands or returns to the takeoff location depending on the configuration. It is not surprising that the French armed forces use the narrowed RF system. It can simultaneously target 7 frequency ranges for the best results. At number 19 we have the Raptor project. We are constantly impressed by shipbuilders' creative ideas and it's possibly that these ships may soon protect waterways around the globe. Let's examine the project 0316 Raptor patrol boats for the time being. Because they may be used for more than just patrolling, these boats are a great option for coastal operations. They can help with such operations and carry a landing group of up to 20 people. With a top speed of 89 km per hour, the Raptor is outfitted with 7.62mm and 14.5mm machine guns. It has a 480km range as well, which makes it a useful tool for maritime operations. At number 20 and the last one on the list, we have the M110, a lightweight aircraft transportable self-propelled artillery was once needed by the US military. 
Following considerable discussion, engineers created the M110, which went into production in 1962 and is still in use today in a number of nations, including Greece and Iran. A 203mm caliber makes it one of the most powerful guns of the 20th century. The M10's 24km range and 55km per hour speed uh, made it suitable for employment in a variety of conflicts, including the Persian Gulf War and the Vietnam War. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and see you next time.